thank you for the time today, sir. Uh, thank you. We will take the first question from Gabriel Gonzalez with Cape Side Press. Hey, Marab, can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. I wanted to ask you because after your last fight, we saw you with the black papaja. We're obviously used to seeing Habib and his white one. And I wanted to know, is there significance behind yours being a different color? Yeah, so uh, I'm from Georgia, Georgia and uh, Pakistan and Chechnya. Uh, we are similar people, like uh, we, we, we only, uh, between us it's a big mount. Uh, we, so only mount is, uh, you know, like a, it's a it's totally different country, but we are like similar. Like we used to be uh, like uh, same people, but the only difference between us, they are Muslim, we are Christian. So now um, Russia, now Russia occupied uh, those countries, Chechnya, Dagestan, and now they are part of the Russia. Georgia, we, we still, we have our own flag, own language, own uh, writing, everything. So, but we are, we are similar and we, we have a, like all the old dress, same, we, we have all the same papaka. We have a white papaka, black papaka, they have same, you know, like we, we, we all, have a, like same um, like traditional address like, you know, like, like uh, clothes. Got it. I understand. So the different color is a choice. All right, I get it. Um, oh, can I ask? Oh, it's, go uh, ahead. It's uh, it's same. Uh, we can have. We also have a white one and we have a black black one. They have same thing and uh, uh, also in Caucasus. It's couple country in the Caucasus. Caucasus is a mount which is uh, which is separate our country. Uh, I know, like, and this, I know, we all, we, like, those small country, we all, like, same, like, similar people, you know, we all have the same traditional um, um, things. I understand. Uh, yeah. Fighting out of Georgia, obviously, it's been a good time for you guys. You have fighters like Roman Delitzi doing well, Liana Jojua. What's it been like to see more people from your country now also doing good in UFC? But of course, um, uh, like more more Georgian fighters in UFC, of course, make me happy. This is big thing for our country. We are small country, and uh, uh, it's mixed martial arts, it's new sport, and I believe we will have a more more great fighters in UFC. So it, things like this makes me happy, makes me motivated, and I'm so proud of uh, Liana Jojua. I'm proud of uh, Giga Chikadze, Roman Dolize, and. Uh, uh, it's, uh, there is more, more, more Georgian fighters. They they just signed to UFC, and then I'm waiting for to see them. If you win this fight, this only gets your win streak even bigger in the rankings. You are very close to both Sean O'Malley and Chito Vera, which are obviously in the big fight this Saturday. Do you feel like if you win, that's the fight they're looking to set up by having you on the same card? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm I'm ready for win, and I gotta win first. But yeah, we all we are, yeah, we we are we are like almost same rank. Like we are close to rank. Then and yeah, we should fight. Why not? Like uh, he, uh, like Sean Sean O'Malley, he never fight uh, before top fifteen guys. So now I think it's the time. I think I'm the next. Uh, um, and hopefully this fight can happen, but I have to win first, and uh, I wish him best of luck. His fight, he has a tough fight. Uh, Marlon Vera is not easy fighter, and uh, uh, I wish him both uh, for luck. My final question, you train with Aljo. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, how excited are you to see him when they finally announce it? Him against Pewter Jan, or him fight Marlon Moraes, these big names at the top of the Bantamweight division? Oh, Aljo always been my motivate, motiv motivate. Uh, you know, I'm always look up to him. Uh, he's not only my friend, uh, not only teammate. He's my training partner, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I look up always with him, and I know I'm so happy with him. He deserves. He's the hardest worker. He's so talented, so strong. He has all skills to be champion, and he will be hundred percent. No, no, no question about it. So I'm so happy for him. Hey, thank you, and good luck. Thank you so much. And we will take our next question from Pablo Santamaria with Notima, Ecuador. 
Long wrap. Uh, you will face a veteran like John Dodson. Do you think this will be the toughest opponent of your you have ever faced in your career? Hello. Yes, hundred percent. He's uh, he has much experience than me. Like he, he's been in UFC a long time. He has uh, win against uh, TJ Dillashaw. He has wins against uh, Pedro Muniz, and he's Ultimate Fighter champion. And then uh, he he's he he's is he's hard fighter for everyone like our weight class is running too much and he's 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 he he has a, like he's salvo it's a little I mean and then also he's tough fighter right? I mean of course he's a he's biggest biggest test for me. Like you said before, you have shown interest in facing Shang O'Malley. Uh, what is your prediction for his fight against Cheat? Mm, uh, it's gonna be tough one. Uh, I think first two round uh, Sean has more chance, but I think on third round maybe Chito will. Thanks. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you so much. We will take our next question from Augusto Nias Gay with Somos MMA. Hey, Marav, how are you? Very good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. My my first question, Marav, is uh, how was the the preparation for for this fight? Did the the COVID nineteen situation affect you in in any way? Yeah, COVID nineteen situ COVID nineteen situation affect everybody. Uh, of course, like gym is gym being closed, uh, and uh, but uh, uh, thank God, then I have a best teammates, best team, and we still able to like uh, uh, training together somehow. Like sometimes we go all all Quintas garage, and some. I mean, we always meeting to each other team, or we help to each other. And then uh, this fight camp was much better, uh, much, much good preparation, and uh, I was uh, I was sparring and I was doing uh, almost everything like as much as I can. So, but the fight before I I I, I wasn't really training, but I take a fight uh, ten days notice. So this this time much better. And which type of fight do you imagine for Saturday night? What are we going to see? Are there any new tricks? Blow mm. your sleep? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I gotta show more, more new stuff. I think more striking, and then uh, uh, I gotta be patient. And uh, uh, I, it's gonna be good fight. Good fight. Uh, that's not not easy to finish him, but I gotta show really hard fight, and I'm gonna left everything in the cage. And then it's gonna be nice to see a good looking fight. I think. Well, and talking about the cage, you are an awesome wrestler. So, what do you think about the smaller cage of the Apex? Are you planning to use that in, in your favor? Um, uh, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, I like the small cage. It's a little weird because we used to be fight a big cage, and uh, in my gym we also have a little big cage it's a little different uh, um, I don't know like so it sometimes I feel good sometimes it's more weird uh, and then, but I, I'm we are personal and I gotta use for me and then I gotta I gotta I gotta I, I have to be ready for it you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad you cannot say because of you wrestler it's uh, you know I you know it's uh, it's it's hard to say uh, for me Okay, and, and my last question. Um, you, you have talked about the John's experience inside the, the UFC. So, do you think it will become a factor on the fight? And, and how are you, you planning to deal with that? Uh, say again, please. I, I, I was asking about the, the experience, John, John Dodson's yeah. experience in UFC, and how are you planning to deal with that? Do you think it can become a factor on the fight? Yeah, I mean, of course, like because he has a lot of experience, and uh, it's of course it's gonna be his favor. But um, I mean, I gotta fight hard. I gotta fight. Uh, I gotta do everything for win. And I think I have a better cardio, or I gotta. I mean, I, I have to. I have to die in the cage and win. I, I don't. You know, I don't wanna leave judges' hand. I wanna look good, and I wanna fight good and strong and hard. Awesome. Good luck on Saturday, man. Thank you so much. We will take our last set of questions from Mike Bond with MMA Junkie. 
Murab, uh, I was curious. You just mentioned John's toughness, and you don't want to leave it to the judges. He's never been finished before. All 11 of his career losses by decision. What do you have to do to be the first man to finish him? Yeah, I have to do everything. It's, it, he's hard to finish, but it's uh, everybody can uh, lose, and every, it's everything happen. And I'm ready for uh, do everything for finish and uh, finish him. So um, I'm I'm still saying it's it's not gonna be easy, but I will do everything for it. And my cardio good, and I'm training with the best training partners, Alja, my Sterling, Ala Quinta, Matt Prevola, and uh, like so many good guys, you know, upcoming guys and. Uh, uh, I think I'm ready, and uh, mm, uh, yeah, I will do everything for me this fight. And right now, you're tied with Demetrius Johnson, having three different UFC fights with ten or more takedowns. Are you gonna get ten or more takedowns in this one? <laughs> oh man, those things uh, makes me happy. They mention my name with those legends, UFC legends, Demetrius Johnson, and uh, I think it's uh, Carlos Blade right there, and then. Um, uh, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kobe Covington. Uh, and yeah, I mentioned my name with them. It's um, I'm so blessed and I'm happy. But I'm not looking for this fight takedowns. I'm not looking for new record. Uh, I I'm just looking for win. It's gonna be can be like knockout, can be submission. I mean, can be everything. Just I gotta do everything for win. Um, I have some plans, but, uh, you know, let, let's see how fight goes. Thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. Looking, looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Marab. That is all the time we had for you, sir.